Part of the human experience is feeling pain. It's inevitable. But enduring pain makes us all stronger. And it makes us appreciate the fleeting feelings of happiness and that sense of well-being. The trouble is, so many people, at the first sign of pain, pop those feel-good pills. Tanner? What? We must lean into our pain and endure it and trust that our hormones are going to kick in and help us out. Let me give you an example. You're running a marathon. Your legs feel like they're going to fall off. Your heart feels like it's going to explode out of your chest. But you keep going because your feel-good hormones are going to kick in. Endorphins. They'll get you to the finish line. I felt that when I played hockey. Christ, 20 years ago. It ain't too late to get back into it, Noah. Another example. Back in the day, you're hunting to provide food for your family. It's the middle of winter. You're cold. You're tired. You're hungry. It seems hopeless. But the endorphins kick in, and you keep going to get your prey and bring it home to your family. You're a hero. I could see myself doing that. Hunting's an awesome way to get your food. You're getting these animals in their natural environment. They're eating their natural diet. They're not pumped up with antibiotics and hormones. And you're getting physical exercise. By the way, physical activity is not the only way to get your endorphins. Laughing, believe it or not, lowers the stress levels, makes you feel good. Tanner, you ought to laugh more. I'm a school teacher. There ain't nothing to laugh at with the kids these days. Try fake laughing or just smiling. The brain doesn't recognize the difference between faking it and the real thing. You're still going to get that release of the hormones, which make you feel good. And when you're feeling good, it's only going to help your mojo. Take care. See you next time.